You're here for a reason. The universe must have guided you. What I'm about to tell you about magic and energy has the potential to change your life depending on what you choose to do with it. Stay till the end of the video. Have you ever felt a tingling sensation when someone looked at you intensely from behind or experienced a warm, comforting energy when holding a loved one's hand? These subtle yet profound experiences hint at the existence of an inner magic that resides within each of us. Yes, literal magic, not a figure of speech. Magic exists without a doubt. Modern science now knows, and the ancients have always known. Except today, we call it something different. Energy. Magic equals energy. The ancient wisdom traditions have long recognized this power, offering insights and practices to help us cultivate and harness it for personal transformation and the greater good. Right now, I'll delve into the secrets of inner magic, drawing from the profound teachings of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, and the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. At the core of the ancient wisdom traditions lies the understanding that everything in the universe, including ourselves, is composed of energy. This energy, often referred to as prana, chi, or life force, is the fundamental essence that animates our being and connects us to the greater web of existence. By learning to sense, cultivate, and direct this energy, we can tap into the magic that lies within us, transforming our lives and the world around us. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth, an ancient Egyptian tablet attributed to the legendary sage Tehuti, also known as Thoth the Atlantean, or Hermes Trismegistus, provide profound insights into the nature of inner magic. In the tablets, Thoth speaks of the seven lords who sit in the dark halls and guide humanity to the knowledge of all. He reveals that the key to gaining wisdom, knowledge and power lies in seeking it in the heart of the flame. Thoth declares, wouldst thou gain knowledge of power, Seek ye it in the heart of the flame. Wouldst be one with the heart of the flame. Seek then within thine own hidden flame. This cryptic passage suggests that the source of our inner magic lies within the very core of our being, in the hidden flame that burns within each of us. But what is this hidden flame? And how can we access it? In many spiritual traditions, the heart is seen as the seat of the soul, the center of our being where the divine spark resides. By turning our attention inward and connecting with the wisdom of the heart, we can begin to tap into the infinite reservoir of energy and potential that lies within us. One way to connect with the heart of the flame is through the practice of meditation. By quieting the mind and focusing our attention on the heart center, we can begin to cultivate a sense of warmth, expansiveness, and inner radiance. We may experience sensations of tingling, pulsing, or vibration in the chest area, as if a flame is indeed burning within us. As we continue to meditate on the heart of the flame, we may begin to notice a subtle shift in our perception of reality. We may feel a sense of unity and interconnectedness with all of life, as if the boundaries between self and others are dissolving. We may also receive insights and intuitions about our true nature and purpose, as the wisdom of the heart begins to guide us from within. Another way to connect with the heart of the flame is through the practice of energy work. By learning to sense and direct the flow of life force energy within and around us, we can begin to awaken the magic that lies dormant within our being. One simple energy work practice is to place your hands on your heart center and imagine a flame burning brightly within your chest. As you inhale, visualize this flame growing larger and brighter filling your entire being with warmth and radiance. As you exhale, imagine the flame stabilizing and anchoring itself within your heart. 
becoming a constant source of light and wisdom. As you continue to work with the energy of the heart flame, you may begin to notice profound shifts in your consciousness and your ability to manifest your desires. You may find that synchronicities and opportunities begin to arise more frequently, as if the universe is conspiring to support your highest path and purpose. If you're intrigued to know more about Tehuti's wisdom, then give us a like and subscribe. We represent his library and are bringing you the wisdom of Tehuti. Now, let me explain how to master magic and energy work. To truly harness the power of inner magic, it is essential to develop a consistent practice of energy work and cultivation. This involves learning to master the flow of life force energy within and around us, using techniques such as pranayama, visualization, and meditation. In the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, a foundational text of classical yoga philosophy, the practice of pranayama, or breath control, is emphasized as a key tool for cultivating prana, or vital energy. By learning to regulate the flow of breath, we can influence the flow of prana throughout the body and mind, achieving extraordinary states of consciousness and tapping into the infinite potential of the universe. One powerful pranayama technique is alternate nostril breathing, or nadi shodhana. To practice this technique, sit comfortably with your spine erect and close your eyes. Use your right thumb to gently close your right nostril and inhale deeply through your left nostril. At the top of the inhalation, close your left nostril with your right ring finger and exhale through your right nostril. Then, inhale through your right nostril, close it with your thumb and exhale through your left nostril. Continue this alternating pattern for several rounds, keeping your breath smooth, deep, and even. As you practice alternate nostril breathing, you may notice a sense of balance and clarity emerging within you. This is because the technique helps to harmonize the left and right hemispheres of the brain, as well as the masculine and feminine aspects of your energy field. By bringing these polarities into greater alignment, you create a foundation for the flow of inner magic. Another powerful tool for mastering energy work is the practice of visualization. By creating vivid, sensory-rich images in your mind's eye, you can direct the flow of energy within and around you, manifesting your intentions and desires. One visualization technique that is particularly effective for cultivating inner magic is the energy ball exercise. To practice this technique, sit comfortably and rub your hands together until you feel a warm, tingling sensation. Then, hold your hands slightly apart, palms facing each other, and imagine a ball of glowing, radiant energy forming between them. As you inhale, visualize this ball of energy growing larger and brighter, pulsing with life force. As you exhale, visualize the energy ball shrinking slightly, becoming more concentrated and intense. Continue to breathe and visualize the energy ball for several minutes, allowing it to grow in size and intensity. You may notice sensations of heat, tingling or pulsing in your hands and arms, indicating the flow of life force energy. When you feel ready, imagine the energy ball expanding to surround your entire body, filling you with radiant golden light. Allow this light to penetrate every cell and fiber of your being, dissolving any blockages or limitations and awakening your inner magic. As you practice this visualization regularly, you may begin to notice profound shifts in your energy field and your ability to manifest your desires. Comment below if you're going to practice these techniques and the more advanced ones I'll tell you about in a minute. As you cultivate your inner magic through practices like pranayama, visualization and energy work, 
you begin to realize that true magic is not about performing supernatural feats or wielding power over others. Rather, it is about aligning yourself with the fundamental principles of energy and consciousness and using your unique gifts and talents to create a life of purpose, meaning and joy. In the Emerald Tablets, Thoth offers profound guidance for living a life of magic and purpose. He declares, Magic is knowledge, and only is law. Be not afraid of the power within thee, for it follows law as the stars in the sky. This passage suggests that magic is not some mysterious or supernatural force, but rather a natural expression of the universal laws that govern all of creation. By aligning ourselves with these laws and cultivating a deep understanding of the power within us, we can begin to live a life of true magic and purpose. This involves learning to trust our intuition, follow our hearts, and act in alignment with our highest values and aspirations. One way to cultivate this alignment is through the practice of self-reflection and introspection, by taking time each day to sit quietly and tune into our inner world, we can begin to discern the voice of our true self, the part of us that is eternally wise, loving and creative. We may ask ourselves questions like, what brings me joy and fulfillment? What are my unique gifts and talents? How can I use these gifts to make a positive impact on the world? As we ponder these questions and listen deeply to the answers that arise from within, we begin to clarify our purpose and direction in life. Another way to live a life of magic and purpose is by cultivating a deep sense of gratitude and appreciation for the beauty and wonder that surrounds us. By focusing our attention on the blessings and miracles that are present in every moment we begin to shift our energy field from one of lack and limitation to one of abundance and possibility. One simple practice for cultivating gratitude is to keep a daily journal in which you write down three things you are thankful for each day. These can be small, everyday blessings like a warm cup of tea or a beautiful sunset or larger, more profound experiences like a deep connection with a loved one or a moment of spiritual awakening. As you make gratitude a daily habit, you may find that your perception of the world begins to shift and you start to notice the magic and beauty that is present in every moment. Ultimately, living a life of magic and purpose is about recognizing that you are a co-creator of your reality with the power to shape your experiences and manifest your deepest desires. By aligning your thoughts, emotions and actions with the highest aspects of your being and by cultivating a deep sense of connection and appreciation for the world around you, you become a living embodiment of the magic that lies within you. As you continue on this path of inner magic and transformation, remember that you are not alone. You are part of a global community of seekers and visionaries, each playing a unique and essential role in the unfolding of a new paradigm of consciousness and creativity. Now let me teach you some more practical techniques and exercises that you can use to awaken and cultivate your magical potential. By quieting the mind and turning your attention inward, you create a space for your deepest wisdom and guidance to emerge. The Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, an ancient Sanskrit text on the nature of consciousness and meditation, offers 112 techniques for awakening inner magic and experiencing the ultimate reality. One of these techniques involves simply observing the flow of your breath without trying to control or change it in any way. To practice this technique, find a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Bring your attention to the sensation of your breath moving in and out of your nostrils. 
Notice the cool sensation of the air as it enters your nostrils and the warm sensation as it leaves. Allow your breath to flow naturally and effortlessly without trying to control its pace or depth. As you continue to observe your breath, you may notice your mind beginning to wander, getting caught up in thoughts, memories, or fantasies. Whenever you notice your mind wandering, gently bring your attention back to the sensation of your breath. Don't judge or criticize yourself for getting distracted. Simply return your focus to the present moment again and again. As you practice this technique regularly, you may begin to notice a sense of spaciousness and stillness emerging within you. You may also become more attuned to the subtle energy currents that flow through your body with each inhalation and exhalation. Over time, this simple practice of breath awareness can help you cultivate a deep sense of inner peace, clarity, and connection to the magic within. Another powerful technique for awakening inner magic is the practice of chanting or mantra repetition. In many spiritual traditions, certain sacred sounds or phrases are believed to have a powerful vibrational effect on the mind and body, helping to align us with higher states of consciousness and awareness. One such mantra is the Sanskrit phrase Om Namah Shivaya, which translates to I bow to the inner self. To practice this mantra, find a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths, allowing your body to relax and your mind to settle. Then, begin to repeat the mantra silently to yourself, Om Namah Shivaya, allowing the sound to resonate within your being. As you chant the mantra, focus your attention on the sound and vibration of the words rather than on their meaning. Allow the mantra to flow naturally and effortlessly without straining or forcing. Om Nama Shivaya. If your mind begins to wander, gently bring your attention back to the sound of the mantra. As you continue to chant, you may begin to notice a sense of deep peace and tranquility emerging within you. You may also experience sensations of warmth, tingling or vibration in different parts of your body as the mantra begins to awaken and activate your inner magic. In addition to these formal practices, there are many simple ways to cultivate inner magic in your daily life. One powerful technique is to pay attention to the subtle energy exchanges that occur in your interactions with others. For example, when you are speaking with someone, notice the quality of energy that you are emanating and receiving. Are you speaking from a place of love, compassion, and understanding? Or are you coming from a place of judgment, fear, or anger? Are you truly listening to the other person, or are you simply waiting for your turn to speak? By bringing a greater level of awareness and intentionality to your interactions, you can begin to cultivate more positive and harmonious energy exchanges, both with others and with yourself. You may also notice that your words and actions begin to carry a greater power and impact as you align yourself with the magic of authentic communication and connection. Another simple way to cultivate inner magic is to take time each day to connect with the natural world around you. Whether it's taking a walk in the park, sitting by a river or ocean, or simply tending to a house plant, spending time in nature can help you tap into the magic and wisdom of the earth itself. As you spend time in nature, pay attention to the subtle energies and sensations that you experience. Notice the way the sunlight feels on your skin, the way the wind moves through the trees, or the way the earth feels beneath your feet. Allow yourself to be fully present in the moment, letting go of any thoughts or worries that may be weighing on your mind. As you cultivate this sense of presence and connection with the natural world, 
you may begin to feel a deeper sense of belonging and purpose. You may also receive insights and guidance from the wisdom of the earth itself as you attune yourself to its rhythms and cycles. Ultimately, the key to awakening your inner magic is to approach life with a sense of wonder, curiosity, and openness. By staying present in the moment and attuning yourself to the subtle energies and opportunities that surround you, you can begin to tap into the infinite potential that lies within you. Whether it's through formal practices like meditation and chanting or simple acts of awareness and connection in your daily life, the magic within you is always available, waiting to be awakened and expressed. Remember, when I say magic, I mean literal magic, which is actually your energy. As we come to the end of our exploration of inner magic, it is clear that the path of awakening and transformation is a lifelong journey, one that requires patience, dedication, and a willingness to embrace the unknown. By cultivating practices like meditation, energy work, and self-reflection, and by attuning ourselves to the wisdom and guidance of the ancient traditions, we can begin to tap into the infinite potential that lies within us and to live a life of true magic and purpose. But the journey of inner magic is not always easy. It requires us to confront our deepest fears and limitations, to let go of old patterns and beliefs that no longer serve us, and to step into the unknown with courage and trust. There may be times when we feel lost, confused, or disconnected from our inner wisdom and power. In these moments, it is important to remember that the magic within us is always available, waiting to be rekindled and expressed. By staying committed to our practices and by surrounding ourselves with supportive and uplifting influences, we can navigate the challenges and obstacles that arise on the path and continue to grow and evolve in ways that we never thought possible. Just remember, magic can be used equally for positive aims as well as negative ones. Tehuti says, Light is infinite and light is finite separate only by darkness in man. Seek ye to rend the veil of the darkness. Bring thou together the light into one. By living from this place of inner magic, the heart of the flame, righteous wisdom, and the light of truth, you become a beacon of light and inspiration for all those around you. You help to awaken the magic in others and to create a world that is more compassionate, creative, and alive. So go forth on your journey of inner magic, child of the light, and know that you are supported and guided every step of the way.